Hi everyone, it's Karen here, the Neighbourhood Witch, and today I want to show you this pendulum and pendulum board for dowsing that I've been making. So here is my pendulum board and the pendulum that goes with it. Now, if you've never come across uh, something like this before, um, a pendulum and a pendulum board are used to help in dowsing. Now, you don't actually need the board. You can just douse with the pendulum alone, but the board does help make things a little bit clearer for you. So to use it, first of all, you take the pendulum and you hold it above the board and you ask a question that can be answered with yes or no and after a little while the pendulum will steady down and it will swing in a direction um, that will give you your answer so this particular board is four inches in diameter that's 10 centimeters and it's easy to carry around you can obviously make them much bigger if you want to and I'm going to show you how I made it. This is just a disc of plywood, um, 100 centimetres in diameter, and that's four inches. And I've covered the back with some sticky back plastic to protect it. And I've uh, gone ahead and prepared the front by giving it a coat of white gesso and then sanding it back. So the colours that I'm going to be using are titanium white and buff titanium. This is what I'm going to be using as my palette. I'm going to use some buff titanium and a little bit of white titanium white. And let's see how I like this color. While it was drying, uh, I found a design that I liked on the Design Bundles website and I will put a link below if you want to purchase the same design. Uh, the bundle, the file, came with a few designs and this is the one that I liked. So the original was much too big for my little board, so I'm going to edit it down a bit. I'm using Silhouette Studio software. Now I use a paid version, but there is a free version that you can download and uh, you should be able to do, I think, most of what I'm doing with the free version. I'm just arranging the bits of design that I do want and I'm moving the other bits out of the way. And I want a star in the middle, so there was a star design in the bundle and I'm going to copy it and paste it into my design. Next, I'm going to group it all together and resize it to fit my board, and now I can print it out. So my first idea was that I would trace the print using graphite paper. Uh, I took a small piece of graphite paper and I put it on the board and then I put my print on top of it. And as carefully as possible, I traced over the print with an embossing tool. Uh, I could have used a ballpoint pen or a stylus or even a, a, a fairly sturdy pencil. Um, but embossing tool was what I had, so that was what I used. 
Once I'd transferred the design, um, not very well, I was going to take a marker and I carefully go over the tracing to tidy up the, the rough edges and to make it look nice and neat. However, uh, the pens that I had didn't work very well with the painted surface. I went through two of them and they were quite expensive pens and I may have ruined them. Uh, and I should have used something like a paint marker but I didn't have any at the time that I was doing this and I was definitely not happy with the results I was getting. Now, if you are a good tracer and um, have got a steady hand for painting, this may work for you. For me, it was like, nope, this is not working for me. Uh, so I just cleared it all off and I repainted the board and um, went on to plan B, which was to use my Silhouette Cameo uh, Cutter to cut the design out of black self-adhesive vinyl. So once I had my vinyl decal, I transferred it onto the board with some transfer, uh, transfer paper and that was it, my board was done, nice and easy. For my pendulum, I have a resin uh, pendant, I suppose, which I made with a mould that I got on eBay. And it took me about five attempts to get the pendulum the way I wanted it. And I added on um, a, a bead cap and a, a jump ring so that I had something to attach my, uh, my chain to. So the chain I cut was about six inches or 15 centimetres and I put a bead and a bat charm at one end and I I don't know what the matter with me was because I really really struggled with this and uh, I have done quite a bit of jewellery making in my time and this I think was about the most ham-fisted I have been with any project ever but Eventually, I managed to get the, the charm and the bead on the one end, and I managed to get the pendant on the other. And uh, eventually, after several attempts, the pendulum was complete. And there they are, the pendulum and the board. So how do you use it? Well, before you're going to use the board, you need to check that it's oriented correctly. So what you do, you hold the pendulum above the board, wait till it steadies down, and then you ask a question that you know should be answered yes. So something like for me it would be, is my name Karen? Uh, and after a few seconds, the pendulum will begin to swing in one direction or another. So check with the board which direction it's swinging in so if you've asked a question that should be answered yes and your pendulum is swinging along the axis that's labeled yes then your pendulum is all oriented correctly if it isn't then turn your board until the pendulum uh, is swinging over the yes axis okay uh, you can double check it by asking a question that should have the answer no so for me, that might be something like, uh, am I a cat? And the pendulum should then change direction and, uh, and swing in the, in the no axis. Now, you may need to, to work with your pendulum a little bit to get used to it. It's the same as, as anything else. Practice makes perfect. But eventually, uh, you will find that your pendulum is reliably answering yes no questions for you and at that point if you want to you can just not use the board at all because you now know which is your yes direction and which is your no direction if you understand what i mean so getting familiar with the pendulum will help you get an answers to your yes no questions the more you practice the better results you get i think i just said that didn't i i did well, I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I would like to thank you very, very much for staying with me for this long. And I'd be thrilled, Skinny, if you came back and saw me again sometime soon. But meanwhile, merry meet, merry part, 
and have a blessed day. Thank you very much.